It's easy to confuse clustering with classification, but they are conceptually very different. Classification is when we know the classes we want to predict and have training data with true labels available, shown as colors here, like pictures of cats and dogs. Clustering is when we don't have any labels and want to find unknown clusters just by looking at the overall structure of the data and trying to find potential clusters in the data. For example, we might look at a two-dimensional data set that looks like this. Any human will probably easily see three clusters here. But it's not always as straightforward as your data might also look like this. We don't know how many clusters there are because the problem is unsupervised. The most famous clustering algorithm is called k-means clustering. Just like for KNN, k is a hyperparameter and stands for the number of clusters you are looking for. Finding the right number of clusters again is an art and has a lot to do with your specific problem and some trial and error and domain knowledge might be required. This is beyond the scope of this video. K-means is very simple. You start by randomly selecting centers for your K clusters and assigning all data points to the cluster center closest to them. The clusters here are shown in blue and green. You then recalculate the cluster centers based on the data points now assigned to them. You can see the centers moving closer to the actual clusters. You then assign the data points again to the new cluster centers, followed by recalculating the cluster centers. You repeat this process until the centers of the clusters have stabilized. While K-means is the most famous and most common clustering algorithm, other algorithms exist, including some where you don't need to specify the number of clusters, like hierarchical clustering and dbscan, which can find clusters of arbitrary shape, but I won't discuss them here. The last type of algorithm I will leave you with is dimensionality reduction. 